When the countdown is on, we have under a week left until the big solar eclipse that you have seen everywhere, you've heard about, but what exactly is going on here and what will we see in New England? So let's dig into it a little bit. First of all, we know the sun. It's the center of our solar system and we're orbiting around it while the moon orbits us. Now what happens during the eclipse is that moon perfectly aligns right between us and the sunshine, effectively blocking out all that light. Now there's two stages to that. There's the penumbra, which is a broader shadow. This is what many people are going to see across North America. And then there's the umbra. That is the full shadow directly in the path of all that sunlight. And that's a much thinner band, only about 70 miles where you get that full total eclipse. Now we're in the penumbra here in the Boston area and across all of New England. What that means is we're going to see a gradual dimming of the sun as the day goes on on the 21st of August. Starts about 128 in the afternoon. Sun, moon just starting to align. You're going to see a little bit of that darkening and it peaks right around 246 in the afternoon. So right in the middle of the afternoon, we're going to get a 63% eclipse, give or take a percent or two, depending on your exact location. So you get a bit of a Pac-Man appearance here. The moon takes a bite out of the sun, still going to be on the brighter side, but we're not talking about the bright fullness of daytime. Now, weather is a complicated factor. As you might imagine, people travel all over. They come from across the world to see a total solar eclipse. Here's the deal. You're not guaranteed clear skies. Now we can look at averages over time. Dating back through history, where's our best odds for seeing some clear blue sky overhead during the eclipse? Your best odds tend to be across the west. If you were picking a spot, desert side of Oregon, if you're on the lee side of the Cascades, getting into parts of Idaho, Wyoming, parts of the Great Plains, and then those odds decrease toward the south and east as well as here in New England. Now we are still quite a ways out from the event itself. Things are going to change when it comes to a forecast, but this is a general idea about a week away, and you see that that general theme has the clearest skies across the west in line with averages. Right now, some poor conditions showing up in the forecast south and east. I would not sweat it yet. A cluster of thunderstorms moving one way, a tropical system going another way can change things dramatically. So we'll update this forecast as we get closer. But you can see coast to coast for the first time in almost 100 years. One last important note, got to get a pair of these. Now, sunglasses are not going to do the trick, even if you're in a partial eclipse. You need to protect those eyes. You wouldn't look at the sun on a normal day. You don't want to look at the sun, even if it's partially eclipsed. You're going to look for a little label that says ISO. That means these are legit. Even if they're made of paper, they seem flimsy. A good test is put them on. What do you see? If you don't see anything, they work. It should be very, very dark with these. They're much more powerful than your typical sunglasses, even if they are just made of paper. It's all about that lens. So look up, put these on, and enjoy on Monday.